So today is Roots Day on the Moon Phase calendar. So I wanted to show you how I start off my really early potatoes. The first thing is I start them in these two litre containers here. So they're either a square one or a round one like this. And the whole idea is that I start them in these small containers because I can keep them inside until they're ready to go out into the greenhouse. Later on in the season, I downsize the container and I put them in a one litre container because they get going much, much quicker, but we'll talk about that later. So here is my two litre container. If you've got space underneath lights inside, then it is perfect to put potatoes inside under lights. I know that a lot of people think that potatoes are like a real cold tolerant plant, but in actual fact, they do like heat and they like lots of light. So you can do that. I don't really have a great deal of room to do that. So I am starting them off inside and then I'm bringing them out into the greenhouse when they're say this big. So the varieties of potato that I've chosen are the early ones. So I've got Swift, which are looking really good. I've planted a few of those. And I also have Charlotte here and they're looking really nice as well. Very nice kind of short chips on them. Very nice. And the other ones that I've got are Winston and I also have Jazzy. So the chips on these potato are really nice. Like I said, they're nice and short. I don't want too many chips. So all these little ones here, I'm just going to take off because I want decent sized potatoes. I don't want kind of little potatoes for these ones. I want big ones. And um, I've mentioned before, uh, but I'll mention it again, that every potato has a belly button. Um, let me see whether I can get a better looking belly button here. Yes, this is a good belly button. So when you look at this potato here, I always, I just assumed that the potato would go this way up because of the shape of it. But in actual fact, let me just come closer. I'll show you what I mean. Move this around. There's a little scar on the bottom of the potato and that is its belly button. This is where it was attached to the umbilical of the mother. So that is the bottom of the potato. That is the top of the potato. So all these little chits here, let's just take, I might leave those little three on there. That's how I do the potatoes. But what I do like to do before I put the potatoes in the pots, I just like to give these pots with the half compost in there a little bit of water, just so that they're a little bit moist, not too much water. So um, I'll do it here on the table, might make a bit of a mess. So that is about all I'm going to put in. It's going to just wet the compost before I actually put um, the potato in. And then I just cover them up and after I've covered them up with compost, I just give them a little bit more of a water. They don't want to be too soggy and boggy. They just want enough moisture to make the potato grow. So that's about the size of it. So what do I do with these now? I will take them inside these containers here take them inside, put them somewhere warm. Like I said, I don't have any grow lights to spare. If I did, I would be putting them under grow lights. And when they start to get about this tall, um, can, can you see that? Yeah, about that tall. I will then bring them out into the greenhouse and let them grow on in the greenhouse. And I'm hoping if um, it, you know, the temperatures are on average about 10 degrees during the day, 10 degrees Celsius during the day um, in the greenhouse, then these should be ready, I should think, in May sometime. And then for my next lot of potatoes that I do, so um, by the way, these are then going to go into 25 litre containers. So I will put two of the pots per 25 litre container. So we've got two tubers per 25 litre container. So when they're ready to do that, I will show you how I do that. Then um, they won't stay in the greenhouse. I will bring them outside when we, when we stop the frost and if they're not ready in May then by the end of May if when they're outside they should be starting to become decent potatoes. That is what I do with my really super early potatoes. 
my next lot of potatoes that I do, which is coming up in March, I don't faff around with all this business of keeping them inside. What I do with them is I put them into the smaller containers, into the one litre container like this. I then put them into the greenhouse, let them grow a nice height, and then they will continue into their big containers and I will either leave them in the greenhouse or, or then bring them outside. And so again, I'm, I'm doing my stagger um, sowing, I suppose you can call it that. And then I won't have any problems with frost, I won't have any problems with blight, and I won't have, have any problems with um, slugs and snails or um, any other creepy crawlies that are going to get to my potatoes or even scab. Um, yeah, so that's how I do my early potatoes. Thanks for watching. I'm Susie B from Susie B Living and I hope to see you again. If there's any questions that you've got, please just drop me a line below. I always answer my answer any questions and I hope that you're following along with my moon gardening, gardening by the moon series that comes out on a Wednesday evening and on a Sunday evening. Until then, see you later. Bye.